Welcome back everyone. David Groner, Elder Law Attorney with Acadiana Elder Law Clinic, joining us again for our weekly estate planning tips. David, welcome back. It's great to be back with you. We're going to an old topic of discussion, irrevocable trust, specifically Medicaid protection trust. It is irrevocable, but what does that mean? Does that mean we lose control over whatever is put in that trust? No, it doesn't. And, and that's the, the thing that I have to tell people. Mm -hmm. You may see on the internet saying, oh, you lose control, irrevocable, but that's not necessarily true. Mm -hmm. There are certain things that you can still have a voice in mm -hmm. and uh, be able to, to, um, to direct. First of all, you pick the trustee. So the trustee is someone you pick and the, the trust provides, if there's a good reason to replace the trustee, you can replace the trustee. Same thing with the beneficiaries. If later in life you decide you wanna add grandchildren or mm -hmm. carve off a piece of your trust to go to, to, uh, to perhaps your grandchildren, niece or nephews, mm -hmm. you can do that. So it's, it's pretty flexible. Now, what happens with property that you've put in the trust? Can it be sold? Absolutely. If you want to downsize and quit cutting grass and go to a smaller estate, tell your trustee, look, let's sell the home, take the money in the trust and buy this little place over here that I want. Mm -hmm. And that's what the trustee can do. So we just keep your lifestyle within the trust still enjoy the assets, any revenues still come back to you. Um, so it's really, it's not as, as uh, you, you don't lose as much control as people may mm -hmm. think just because it says irrevocable. Right, And but remind us why someone would do an irrevocable trust. Okay, so the reason you do it and the reason it's called irrevocable is because you're protecting your assets that you're putting in the trust. Mm -hmm. Once you put them in there, creditors can't, sue you for those assets. They no longer belong to you, they belong to the trust. Mm -hmm. Neither can Medicaid make you use that, those assets after the five year look back period mm -hmm. toward a nursing home. Right. So Medicaid would step in, if you ever needed a nursing home, which statistics say after 65, 70% of us are gonna need skilled care nursing. Mm -hmm. Medicaid, the government will pay for it. You won't have to exhaust your estate. It'll go to your children, your grandchildren, just as you had hoped for and planned. Mm -hmm. So it's all about protecting your estate, and you can work with David on doing just that. Give him a call at the number on the bottom of your screen if you would like to get in touch today.